Let's talk about New York City because oh. uh, that is where you live. That is where you do your comedy. That city has changed so much. I only left there seven years ago and it's changed drastically. You have, I come back and everyone's riding those bikes. You can swipe a credit card. That's right, uh, yeah. The city bikes. The city bike program. Is that I, uh, working out? Have you ever tried that? I do it a lot now. I'm a bit of a cyclist in that I mean I ride for an hour a day maybe four times a week, so watch your ass, Lance Armstrong. <laughs> <laughs> I've been doing this, and seeing a, a fat guy riding on a bike, looking the way I look, has to be quite intimidating, I guess, but I had my first little accident happen on it. Oh. And uh, it was with a, a 60-year-old man, oh who God. I'll tell you what, in Trump's America, the, the old white man is having a resurgence. They're very confident people now. <laughs> He, you think they feel, empo they feel empowered now? A little empowered, yeah. This was pretty insane to me. I was riding a city bike, not last week, uh, down the road, and I was kind of hit an impasse where I was going to run directly into an old man. 60, we'll call him. Yeah. 65. And uh, I had to go behind him or in front of him, made a decision to cut in front of him. As I cut in front of him, I say the words, as a very polite person as I am, uh, I say, uh, very sorry, sir. As I get the word sir out, he was holding like a canvas bag, belts me right across the face. <laughs> I mean, cleans my clock. Really? And I skid out and I go back, very dramatic as I am, screaming, you almost murdered me, to an old man. Yeah, an old man hitting you with canvas, <laughs> almost <laughs> murdered canvas. you, yeah. Yes, and a lot of his old trinkets were rattling around on the floor, <laughs> fell out of the bag. Old <laughs> men and their trinkets. Oh, you know, they, they are, loved yeah. just a bag of trinkets. Yeah. I don't know where he was going with it. I go back with the bike, and I, I smash it into his legs. What? Because he deserved that. Okay. And, uh, <laughs> and I start screaming at him, you almost killed me, and, and a bunch of other expletives. What starts to happen is, this is the plight of the large tattooed man, I believe. Right. Uh, as people in this busybody city of New York start gathering around, all they're seeing is this monster yelling and hitting an old man with a bike. <laughs> And I'm losing it, and I'm screaming, and I know I can't fight this old man. So I start challenging everyone else to a fight <laughs> in the area. I mean, a real lunatic. People are riding by on other bikes going, chill out, dude. And I got to do like, that crazy fist clench, like, you don't know what happened. <laughs> I'm the victim here. <laughs> you're not going to win that. No I did not win that. No, you're a, at that point, they just look at you as a, as a monster. Oh, they were poking me with sticks. <laughs> oh, yeah. It really, and the best part is, is, uh, I hit him with the bike one last time. <laughs> People were booing me. They were jeering me in the streets. Yeah. And, uh, and I guess the real punchline of the story is, after all that, I had to remount a bike. And take off, and nothing says I just scared a whole block of people like you know, boop, 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 <laughs> with a furrowed brow, yeah. just angry, <laughs> cooking. <laughs>